Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Susan Lowry, and I am the Associate Executive Director for Catholic Charities Diocese of Trenton. I'm here today in my role as Chair of the Board of the New Jersey Association of Mental Health and Addiction Agencies, NAJAMA. NAJAMA represents a broad array of mental health, substance use disorder treatment, and social services community providers. Of the 153 member organizations represented is a mix of small, mid-size, and large specialized community providers, large hospital systems, for-profits, and non-for-profits. Through Najama's various practice groups, councils, and stakeholder gatherings, these uh, providers collaborate with strategic business partners in the pharmaceutical, health information technology, and insurance industries to innovate and promote best practices to improve health for individuals and families in New Jersey. One common thread to all of these organizations is the importance of economic sustainability. No doubt we have been challenged to adapt and innovate over the course of the past year. And the pandemic has taught us that historical business success is not necessarily an indicator for future sustainability. However, one thing is certain, we need to be sustainable to meet the challenges that lie ahead. We need to be sustainable for those who rely on us for services now, for those who will need services in the future, for those employees who work tirelessly for us and for their dependents. To give you a sense of why the economic viability of this org these organizations is so important, let me share with you some perspective on the scope of need for their services. In 2019, according to the Mental Health Quarterly Contract Monitoring Reports, over 181,000 Medicaid-insured individuals received mental health services. For addiction treatment, there were over 87,000 unduplicated Medicaid-insured served, uh, served in New Jersey. These numbers represent Medicaid alone and don't represent the scope of services provided throughout the state. According to the Wellbeing Trust and the Robert Graham Center for Policy Studies in Family Medicine and Primary Care, it is estimated that as many as 75,000 more people will die from drug, alcohol, misuse, as well as suicide. The growing epidemic of deaths of despair is increasing as a result of the COVID pandemic. When you examine these projections in conjunction with the New Jersey historical need for services, the overall impact COVID of the COVID-19 pandemic to New Jersey is, is really staggering. To support the demand for services, mental health and addiction treatment providers need resources to advance technology for telehealth and telemental health services. We have seen the promise of technology-based services in recent months. Providers anecdotally report reduced no-show rates and increased patient engagement, but a broader investment is needed for the infrastructure required to reach all of those in need. However, technology is just one aspect of the needs in our communities. For children and youth, the sustainability of school-based programs must be prioritized. The school environment creates the foundation for successful outcomes for children and youth. Every child needs these services and parents and guardians need confidence that these services will be available to their children as they transition back to work. And lastly, I wish to advocate for the balance of employment practices liability in the context of workforce development. New Jersey businesses need to be solvent in order to support minimum wage increases, provide decent and fair wages and economic opportunity for all in New Jersey. And mental health and addiction treatment providers need rates that make them whole and sustainable to continue to meet the needs of the residents of New Jersey. Thank you for your time today.